<sighs> Norwegian, Norwegian, Norwegian. Well, looks like they've gotten themselves in a little bit of a situation. And the sad part is, they aren't even trying to fix it. Let's go! Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Jay Alexander, and welcome to another episode of Ship Life, where I try to inform, educate, and entertain you guys on the world that is ship life. So, looks like Norwegian Cruise Lines, also known as NCL, is in the hot seat. So much so that it even has the guests on one particular cruise line so pissed off that they are chanting, screaming, and even rioting. Now before I get into that guys, I'm gonna tell you the story of what's going on, but I'm also gonna give you my perspective as I have been through the situation before as a crew member. I've seen it happen, and I've seen the guests react in the same way and fashion. Now apparently the Norwegian Spirit, which is one of the smaller ships in the fleet for Norwegian, had a two week voyage around Europe with stops that included but not limited to Iceland, Scotland, and France. But apparently a couple of those didn't happen. Now the ship left uh, Southampton, which is about a two hour ride, I believe from London. I have not been there. I've been to London a couple of times, but I've never been to Southampton. But uh, I guess it's advertised as London for a lot of the guests, but they've left from Southampton and their first stop, which I think was supposed to be the primary stop for the uh, cruise was Iceland, which was canceled due to apparently inclement weather or bad weather in the area. Uh, so the guests, you know, they were a little heated after that because that was their main port of call that they were looking forward to, but it didn't end there. So it also happened again in their next stop, which I believe was Scotland, all right? Now, here's the thing with the situation. Um, these things are normal, all right? We can't control uh, mother nature or as they would say in both aviation and at sea, acts of God, all right? You can't control these things, so the cruise lines have to adapt, all right? Now, the thing is with the guests, they were initially pretty angry about that situation, but I'm sure some of them were a little bit understanding as far as, uh, you know, there's only so much that can be done about it. But I'm gonna tell you guys why that's not okay for the cruise line. One situation being is the so-called solution to the issue uh, sent out by Norwegian Cruise Lines, which their headquarters is in Miami, by the way. Um, their lead head, you know, their head office, basically, I guess their management, they sent out a video basically telling the guests that they will not receive their refunds, which is honestly pretty horrible given what they've been through because it was not only that they were missing ports, apparently the toilets were all sold down and apparently the food was also bad as well. I can't confirm on that, but you know, some of the guests have taken pictures and they've reported it over and over again. And they've even had an interview with one of the guests. There was a gentleman from Denver, Colorado, which explained the whole situation. Now, here is my problem with it. Um, after doing contracts with, with cruise lines, I've seen bad weather, okay? I've seen plenty of bad weather. I've been near hurricanes. I've been near to the, you know, to the point to where there is no absolute chance that we can safely port, and that's fine, all right? I don't know, and I can't say for sure how, what the weather was really looking like, but apparently, you know, it's not like the guests are just trapped inside of their rooms all day and they can't see the weather, all right? Um, I believe that sometimes, this is from what I've seen, because I had a captain on one of my ships, I'm not gonna say which, but he was honestly a very, very lazy guy. And all the crew knew that. If there was any excuse that he could make to miss this one particular private island that we had, just so we can get to the main area, which was the Bahamas, he would do so. He would cancel for everything, anything and everything. And he would always use the excuse that there was inclement weather in the area, which everybody knew that that was not true. Now, I wouldn't say that that's the situation for this particular case. But again, I mean, the guests are free to walk outside and they can clearly see what's around. Um, I mean, but who knows? You know, they could have been miles out. There could have been an approaching storm in the area where they were going to their port. Who knows? But the thing that, that really got everybody angry was the, the, the fact that they were only offering 25% off on their next cruise at that, you know, which is, <laughs> you know, some people only take like maybe one cruise in their lifetime. So to tell them they get 25% off, which is, 25% off, which is absolutely nothing. That's garbage, that's trash, that's baloney. Um, that's not cool. You know, some people, again, probably have saved up for years to just go on that one cruise. And being a two, weeks crew, two week cruise, I'm, I'm assuming that it's, it was pretty pricey for, for at least one ticket. Uh, so 
that's the situation that they're dealing with now. You know, I from what I saw in the video, which I'll leave in the, the uh, link. Uh, ah, I can't even talk right now. Sorry, guys. Which I'll leave in the link below. Um, this is from the Washington Post. They have the video up. I'm going to show clips of the video in, in, in this uh, episode, but I'm not going to play the video with the sound just because it's copyright infringement and that whole deal. But again, you guys can check it out below. But you can see in the video that the guests are chanting, we want our money back, we want our money back. It actually reminds me of a uh, Dave Chappelle episode, one of my uh, favorite comedians. He did a skit about that, about a show that uh, apparently didn't go the way the guests expected and they were chanting, you know, they wanted their money back. And uh, Dave Chappelle's reply was about the same as what Norwegian is giving to the guest, which is. Yeah, so as you can see, uh, Norwegian doesn't really care. They're, they're all about this, all about the Benjamins. And they're not going to give it up so easily. Now, will there be lawsuits or anything like that? I don't know. Um, but that's the situation, guys. But I just wanted to report on it just so you guys are aware. I tried my best to give you guys, you know, information. This is the most information that's come out. Again, guys, the link to the article is below. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. Got to get started in preparing for tomorrow's video. For those of you guys that aren't aware and haven't seen my video last week, tomorrow I have a video coming out for you guys. For anybody aspiring to work on a cruise ship, I'm going to do a video with tips, links to other websites, to recruiting sites. And uh, hopefully it will serve as like a one-stop shop for everybody where they can find all of their, uh, you know, cruise ship applications and hopefully be able to get on a ship. Anyway, guys, I'll see you soon. Actually, I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, until then, you guys take it easy. Peace.